What up, what up, what up, guys? Now, before checking out this video, I just wanted to let you know, man, if you're interested in being a full-time content creator, you may want to check the link down in the description. It's a free webinar, guys. Doesn't cost you anything to take a look, but I tell you what, it might just change your life, all right? All right, guys, so let's jump right into this, man. As you can see, I have a few things underlined here. But let me explain to you why I'm making this video. Now, you see all the time, man, you have a lot of people, uh, you know, go with the narrative of Madden or the EA sports team, you know, that's responsible for Madden, you know, the Tiburon office, only care about Ultimate Team, right? And I'm going to explain to you where that perception comes from. And I'm speaking on the behalf of what would be considered a simulation player. For you guys that don't really understand what that means, let me explain it. A simulation player is usually a guy that's trying to replicate the NFL the best way possible. You know, they want disparity between, you know, the roster and good players, bad players, etc., etc. And we generally play in franchise mode, you know, trying to recreate the franchise and mimic the franchise and building your team, etc., etc. Just like kind of like what Ultimate Team does in terms of building your team. You know, I think that's a common ground with both types of players. Now, I don't, you know, I don't feel any certain type of way about any player or however you play a game it's it's yours play it like you want to just want to give you the perspective of where this is coming from all right now this is the reason why that narrative is created and i'm going to read it from the bottom to the top not the full thing just going to point out a couple things all right look at all of these abilities you have stiff arm specialist ability out of my way ability under pressure ability footsteps ability situational pass rush ability and route specialist all right now we're going to talk about the route specialist last because that's really the meat and potatoes of this video now here's the thing you know i know this year they've introduced you know more traits and archetypes in cfm great start and i keep calling it cfm which is no longer cfm it's just franchise great start okay but i've always said why aren't you able to put these abilities in franchise and make these things work in franchise this is a great way to separate players and what they can do and what they can't do you know carrying nfl players as well as draft players especially now with editable draft classes all of this stuff to me is just football okay and i understand you know with mutt obviously you're going to focus on special abilities etc etc i get it but i feel like these should be across the board and they may not coincide, you know, coincide, uh, you know, the exact same way. It might not work the same way in mud as it does in franchise, obviously, because of the different gameplay style. But the premise should be there for both. OK, you know, a guy like Khalil Mack clearly is a <laughs> situational pass rusher <laughs> type of guy and a Von Miller type of guy. You know, footsteps might be a guy that, you know, and I don't know who we could categorize as that, but, you know, it might be a guy that, you know, gets a little alligator Amish, you know, when he goes across the middle. I don't know who we could say would be that, but you guys understand what I'm saying. A stiff arm specialist, and I'm going to be biased here, might be a guy like Vance McDonald after we saw what he did against the Tampa Bay Bucks this year, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, let's talk about the route specialist. I'm going to read to you what it says here. This, is, this gives receivers a unique hot route based on their position and rating, such as post, corner, angle, stick and nod routes, etc. How is that not something that should be across the board? You see what I'm saying? I don't understand why this game continues to be built in compartments. I'm going to borrow that phrase. This is something that, and shout outs to Apex, he knows who he is. Gideon Prime for you guys that you know know him from the old school days. He used to always say that football in compartments. Along with my boy Azur Effect, he used to say the same thing. And this is what I'm talking about. Why are these things continuing to exist? Why is it compartments? These things should be built up together. Together. Because all areas of this game should be able to utilize these football principles football aspects you understand what i'm saying like i said i know mutt is a little different 
in terms of what you're expecting the players to do, different game style and all that, I'm not arguing that. My beef and my debate would be how are some of these things that seem to just be football not implemented across the board? Something like a hot route that's specific, you know, and if I'm not mistaken, they did a little bit of this before. I don't know if it's in 19, but I know they did, you know, some things in terms of hot routes where only certain, you know, types of guys, I guess. But I don't know, man. I, to me, I think they need to take it to this level where the route specialist dictates what hot route he can have versus just his position. So they're almost there, but you understand what I'm saying? It just seems like, ironically, the things that are done in ultimate team on the field are the exact things that guys who would consider themselves simulation guys like myself want to see in franchise. It's just ironic that the you know Mutt has has the stigma of being a competitive scene, <laughs> but there's more football behaviors going on in that gameplay. I don't know. That's just my thoughts, man. And I could be way off on this. I could be off base. But that's just the way I view it. So that's why I just make this video to say that. Come on, man. We got to. Come on. Come on. We, we got to get. We got to do better than that. We got to start building this game up all in one. You know, there should be no areas of the game left behind. It should be built up all together. <laughs> I don't know no other way to say it. I don't know any any you know a more plain way to say that is I just don't get it. I just don't get all the segmenting in terms of football type of things. I'm not talking about the way the game plays out. I'm just talking about aspects of football that you would expect. So there you have it. So all right guys, like always, man, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cut on your notifications so you know when the next video is available. And I promise, guys, it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, that'll do it for now. But until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.